The problem with religion is that uh, it's more of a sort of group cohesiveness uh, method that drives people to be more tribal and xenophobic. Uh, and f then finally, in, in my third line of inquiry on the social sciences, um, I'll, I'll cite this one study among many uh, by Gregory Paul in, of uh, correlating the, the differences between rates of religiosity, belief in God, biblical literalism, belief in the afterlife and heaven and hell in 20 different uh, leading democracies in the Western world as a function of their societal health. Societal health as measured by rates of homicides, suicides, STDs, abortions, teen births, marriage, divorce, alcohol consumption, life satisfaction, corruption, uh, indices, adjusted per capita income, income inequality, poverty, employment levels, incarceration, life expectancy, and so on. Well, you can't believe this, but it turns out that the higher the rates of religiosity in a nation, the more people believe in God in, in a nation, the worst they score on these uh, indices of societal health. And America stands out by far with no one even a close second as the most religious of the Western democracies and the worst on all of these. We have the highest homicide rates, suicide rates, teen STD rates, pregnancy rates, and so on, income inequality and, and alcohol consumption, life satisfaction, employment levels, and on and on and on. Now, I'm not saying that those things have, are caused by religion, but if religion and belief in God is such a great force for m driving moral progress, how come it fails so abysmally here and every other nation where religiosity and belief in God is high?